Ahoy hoy, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over the dankest memes from dank memes from Site 19. Uh, I it's been a little while, and uh, the year is almost over. But I have one upload left before the end of the year, and I plan on doing a sort of SCP Wiki year in review video. So I should probably start researching that. It is midday Tuesday though. Anyway, let's get started. Clickety click. Me explaining why the Church of the Broken God is better than circusism. My friends. SCP fans. See, I... <laughs> Maybe that'll get memed too with me the thumbs up. But, um, I don't know if it's better or worse. Not a huge fan of either of those uh, sections of the wiki, to be honest with you. Although, if I had to choose, I'd probably go with the Church of the Broken God, just because sarcasm, while not wholly body horror, uh, is a little bit more body horror than um, Broken God stuff is. But, yeah. I can imagine this happens a lot, especially with young kids. Because my nephew, you know, he starts to get in. He's like eight or nine years old. He starts to get in on something that's super exciting to him, and he just cannot stop talking about it, even to people who have no idea what he's talking about i wonder how old you get before you start realizing the social cues that hey maybe this person doesn't give a fuck about what i'm talking about anti-meme or something i dk i haven't read the oh <laughs> uh, oh man it feels like it feels like it would have been it feels like they missed an opportunity. Someone should have been holding up a poster that says memes closed, the pools closed guy on it. It's an old meme, but a good meme. One of the uh, one of the more original image memes to spread across the internet. Not a like image memes have been around since before there was an internet. But <laughs> memes must be stopped. Memes are bad. Stop them <laughs> like a boss just with an X through it. No doge. Doge kills. Shut up and stop me. It could just be shut up. <laughs> you could just leave. You're going a little bit too far there. Just d simplify your joke. Shut up. <laughs> oh, man. Start your own investigation. Discover the SCP Foundation is real. <laughs> I mean, this is the other thing. Like, you get this, and this is another young person thing, I think. More than old, older people do this. Younger people, like want the scp foundation to be real because i guess they want to live in a slightly more magical world but um yeah the world of the scp foundation is not not the one i think you want to live in as much as you, even if you enjoy it as a piece of like i wouldn't want to live in westeros Every the thing is everyone thinks if they live in westeros that they'd be the hero but no you'd be one of the people getting murdered on the side of the road <laughs> I wouldn't want to live in Westeros, but most of the uh, most of Game of Thrones was very entertaining to watch. Uh, I wouldn't want to probably live in the DC universe because I wouldn't be a superhero. I would be I would be just a random person on the street getting murdered by the Joker. The SCP Foundation, same thing. You're not gonna be working for the Foundation. You're gonna be working for anybody. You're gonna be one of the random people. <laughs> who discovers a lake and recognizes the bodies in the water. Oh! <laughs> How serendipitous. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't, <laughs> I don't even have anything to say now. I'm just like, okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, moving on. <laughs> The Bright Family is an SCP version of the Kennedys. I need to get back into it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I've never, like, the whole Bright Family thing is like an obsession that I never really bought into. Like, and it's not, and it's not, that's not an offsite fan base thing. Like, for some, some SCPs, the Bright Family is something a lot of people I know on the SCP wiki are like really into. Like, oh, let's learn more about the Bright Family. Because they're just like, I guess. The idea of, you know, writing new characters that are based around Bright, but not Bright, or is, like, particularly interesting to certain people. So, but I mean, I don't know that the Bright family are nearly as powerful as the Kennedys. Also, the Kennedys are not nearly as powerful as everybody else makes them out to be. This is... 
some sort of surreal postmodern. <laughs> I think it was even in the comments on this meme was uh, some sort of surrealist postmodern thing about like uh, how everyone's focused in on SCP-173. There's all this other stuff going on on the wiki. I think these numbers are a little off, though. <laughs> it's not 500,000 SCPs. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, what is... Yeah, let's look at this one thing. A massive black sarcophagus has been earthed in Egypt. Unearthed in Egypt. And nobody knows who's inside. Oh, boy. Here I go killing again. Yeah, it's a... Uh, that's... it's Yeah, it's, it's definitely able. It's definitely able. You know they're just you just know they're gonna fuck it up somehow. When you go on R slash anti means, but later you still remember the posts. Impossible. Perhaps the archives are incomplete. <laughs> uh Scarlet King, the literal embodiment of evil. Unstoppable self replicating cakes. Actually, I don't know why you think the Scarlet King is the literal embodiment of evil. The only people you have to uh the only people that you have that told you anything about the Scarlet King in the article about it, at the very least, I'm sure there's a whole lot of tales that are surrounding it, and you can be use any of those as your canon if you'd like. But um, the actual article itself, the only people who talk about what the Scarlet King is or isn't are a bunch of murderous cultist bullshitters. <laughs> so believe them as much as you'd like. I also, I, what was the idea that I had a while back? Like, they want to keep the Scarlet King contained. Like, these cultists know that the Scarlet King getting out would be a good thing for humanity and the world. So what they've done is they've convinced themselves that the SCP Foundation is unstoppable. And if all we have to do is lie to them, let them do the work for us. Just tell them, just convince the SCP Foundation the Scarlet King is this unstoppable end of the world problem and they will prevent him from ever getting out. And they'll do these terrible things to do it too, which it, I just love the idea of be, the SCP Foundation is too powerful to fight, but they're not too smart to be manipulated. The SCP Foundation, every other GOI. The only reason this look the only reason the world looks like this to anyone is because the SCP Foundation are the ones are the stories that you generally read. There are other things from the other GOI perspectives, but even those are told for through the lens of, hey, how does this affect the foundation? No. Yeah. <laughs> only very recently, actually, I'd say this, only very recently have they been able to like not very recently, but in the beginning, it was usually like, well, how does this pertain to the foundation? If it doesn't pertain to the foundation, you know, sometimes people will be like, I don't think that works. Even if it's about Marshall Carter and Dark explicitly. There are people out there like that on the wiki, especially. Thousands of articles, hundreds of tales, dozens of canons, multiple GOIs, a handful of games, and like 12 pages of SCP-914 testing logs. Do not solve the equation. There will be bear. Uh... <laughs> You know, there's a lot I could talk about on this, but the one thing I want to key in on is hundreds of tales? No, there are thousands of tales. There are thousands of tales on the SCP Wiki. Not hundreds. How dare you? Oh, is that the end of it? That's the end of it. Anyway, I got I got, I got to get in a you're wrong about you're wrong about how many tales are on the SCP Wiki. Anyway, Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level so that you can see more content like this. The new year is beginning. And I have once again, every time I'm like, I dipped just below 400 and then someone will pledge and then someone will unpledge. <laughs> but head on over and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted, and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100, and Morgan, who has pledged at $40. And then, if you want to see more content like this, you have to hit, you don't have to, you should hit the subscribe button. I know it seems silly and stupid, and it's it really feels that way every time I say it, but it has been proven by my own analytics, not, I, not just from the people who tell you this, from my own analytics, that videos in which I request you to subscribe, more people subscribe. 
and it it boggles my mind. Are there just people that are like, huh? I didn't think about that. But that's how, that's how YouTube works. So that's where we are. Hit the subscribe button, Jerry. And thanks for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I will see you all again on Thursday.